Ask Reddit by Neil Nelly. Who is the most evil person who is still alive? Omar al-Bashir immediately came to mind. Former president of Sudan who was behind the Darfur genocide. Absolutely vile human. And the one who robbed Sudan of its treasury. He lived in absolute luxury while many Sudanese starved. OP found the death note I presume. God could you imagine the news if all of these people died within a day or two of each other? Deleted. Pedro Lopez is also a Colombian serial killer who killed over 300 people. And he was released in 1998, and his whereabouts are unknown. He would be 73 now. Minong Lagging, the Myanmar junta who commit the coup still actively killing their citizens every day. He recently airstrikes the village school resulting 11 plus children deaths just because they heard rebels are hiding in the village. Don't forget this maniac and his predecessors have been doing ethnic cleansing of the Rohingya and other ethnic minorities since like forever. They are the drivers behind the Rohingya refugee crisis with many seeking refuge in countries like Bangladesh, India, Thailand, Indonesia and more. Possibly Pedro Lopez if he's still alive. One of the most prolific serial killers in history who may have killed 300 people as of 1998 when he was released. His whereabouts are still unknown since 98. https colon slash slash en dot m dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash pedro underscore lopez underscore open bracket serial underscore killer closed bracket. I read a theory that he has since been taken care of by family members of his victims, and that's why he hasn't been seen in 20 years. I'm okay with that. Australia pedo Peter Scully. He's abused and tortured girls and infants, and has shown no remorse whatsoever. The wiki page on him says. His crimes were deemed so severe that some prosecutors supported the reintroduction of the death penalty as punishment for Scully, despite capital punishment being abolished in the Philippines since 2006. Imagine doing something so heinous that politicians literally considered reinstating the death penalty because of you. The Bastards Who Murdered Junko Furuta One of the most disturbing Wikipedia articles I've read. How can people be so cruel? What about the people from the cartel videos? All of these political figures are evil as shit and I'm not saying they're not, but have they literally peeled people's faces off or cut somebody's heart out in front of their kid while they're still alive? Those people are as evil as they come. Z40 was a leader of the Zetas. He's in prison now. Dude is said to have not been able to sleep until he killed something. He would throw women and kids into barrels alive and burn them W diesel until they turned into what he called soup. Dude has got hundreds and hundreds of bodies on his name. Hiroshi Miyono and the other three men who tortured that poor woman Junko for 40 days. Horrifying and sickening what did to that poor woman. She was raped over 500 times by over 100 men they invited over. Even worse things happened than that but I can't bear to write it out. Poor girl was in literal hell and was only 17 when she died. Miyano only served 17 years in jail and walks free. What about the kid's parents who keep vandalizing her grave for destroying her son's life? That was the part that got me. I can't understand the mental gymnastics that went into that thought process. David Miscavige. His mom should have had a miscavige. What disturbs me is that there are so many nominees. There are 7 plus billion people alive and billions more who have died. Even the monsters in this thread only represent a micro fraction of a portion of a decimal of a percent of the people alive in the world. Seeing them all listed together looks bad but if you want some optimism, for each name you see here there are millions of decent people. Gerard Ridsdale notorious pedophile priest that raped hundreds of children and was protected by the Catholic Church and moved to other parishes instead of notifying police. When he couldn't physically rape a child he'd use a stick instead of his penis and beat the child in frustration. Ian Watkins, 
the lead singer from Lost Prophets. That thing is evil. I feel sorry for that other Welsh singer with the same name. The guy from Steps. Henry Kissinger. During the Vietnam War, he secretly derailed peace talks between the North and South Vietnamese, because he wanted the war to continue and help his career, right through to the next president. He also personally planned bombings of targets in Cambodia, who were not even a part of the war. He had no military training or knowledge, he chose random targets he thought would stop supply lines to Vietnam. These were planned in secret, without Congress knowing. Deleted. Once you've been to Cambodia you'll never stop wanting to beat Henry Kissinger to death with your bare hands. Anthony Bourdain. Henry Kissinger living to the ripe age of 99 is proof that karma doesn't exist. Current and Amp, former president of the Philippines. The Marcos family the former president was the dictator Ferdinand Marcos basically a corrupt, murderous dictator from who brought martial law on the Philippines from 1972 to 1981 he was essentially made to flee from the Philippines because if he didn't he would have been lynched. He did bring some good things to the Philippines but his legacy is mired in murder and corruption. His son Ferdinand Bongbong Roma Alves Marcos Jr. is no different and might take the Philippines in a similar political trajectory to his father but unfortunately the Filipino people seem to keep electing utter clowns. See the current mayor of Manila who was also president. Source equals my wife who is Filipino. Edit typo. Certainly not the most evil, and not just one person. But a shout out must be made for the Sackler family and the thousands of deaths caused by their pushing of addictive pharmaceutical drugs such as Oxy. Carla Homolka and Paul Bernardo. Carla Homolka became a mod on Babisenta. Someone found out it was her and started responding to her posts under the name of one of her victims. Accomplices of Mr. Jeff Epstein on the client list. So did anything ever come out of the investigation on Jeff Epstein's death suicide murder? Kissinger. He deserves bees with teeth. And butthole spiders. Peter Scully. Minong Hlaing. Dictator of Myanmar. Probably cartel leaders who rule majority of economy by their will and slaughters any competitor who doesn't abide by his rules. Probably someone no one knows. That's a weird perspective. Doesn't sheer quantity count for anything? If I'm 100x as evil as Putin, but I don't have enough resources to harm even a tiny fraction of the people he's able to harm, am I really more evil than he is? Deleted. I can't get over the fact that their parents vandalize her grave. If I was rich I'd pay for 24 stroke 7 security for her. She should be allowed to at least rest in peace after all she suffered. Henry Kissinger. While the question who is most evil is always going to be debatable, I feel like Kissinger being 99 years old means he wins this debate through sheer staying power. The guy who invented the plastic clamshell packaging that electronics come in. You mean that plastic clamshell packaging that everything comes in. The Marcos https colon slash slash yahoo.be slash dash p0 fsha3 ebc close bracket family. Nestle executives. They get paid millions and still steal water from small villages and force young African youth, as young as 10, to farm cocoa and not go to school or else they will be beaten. Fuck Nestle. My child molester dad. Every child molester.